All hella beard, it's your boy Big Beard B, and we back for another edition of Big Beard Business. Today we are back with another video, and this time I'm hitting you off with the best fragrance hacks on YouTube. And when I say the best, well, I mean the best. So prepare to have your mind blown. Some of these hacks, tips, and tricks will contradict everything you've ever known about wearing fragrances. So feel free to try along at home. So fragrance hack number one is based around making your fragrance last longer because one, who doesn't want to make their favorite fragrance perform better? And fragrance hack number one is to layer your fragrances. And no, it's not what you're thinking. Now traditionally in fragrance, when we talk about layering a fragrance, we talk about taking one, two or three fragrances and combining them to make something that's unique and may perform a little better, but that does take a ton of practice or else you will be walking around smelling pretty stupid. However, in this sense, I'm talking about layering your fragrance in terms of its application. For more compliments and better performance, try spraying your fragrances on your skin, undergarments, and inconspicuous places on your clothing for a multi-layered effect. This application process will keep you smelling amazing hours after you apply for a busy day at the office and even those close skin to skin encounters afterwards. Now fragrance hack number two is going to make you question everything you know about life. But seriously, all jokes aside, this one is a bit different so be sure to hear me out. If you know anything about fragrance, you've probably heard that you need to apply your fragrances on your pulse points. We've been told forever to apply the fragrance on the pulse point because it's going to help the fragrance perform in terms of projection, which is true. But what if applying fragrances to the pulse point takes away from its longevity, therefore making you have to reapply fragrances more often and reapplying fragrances more often means you must buy them more often. Well, according to Le Centura, a London-based fragrance house, this is exactly what happens when you apply your fragrances to pulse points. In fact, this fragrance company suggests that you skip typical fragrance application places like your wrist and neck and opt for cooler places on the body like your forearm and shoulders. They also recommend applying fragrances to your clothing to help that fragrance lock in. So for those of you wondering how I get more compliments and are looking to get more compliments, then there you go. Now fragrance hack number three is the exact opposite of number two and it's for those of you who are looking to remove your fragrances fast. Look, I know what you're thinking. Big B, B, why would I want or need to remove my fragrance fast? Look, I mean, there's a number of reasons that you would want to do that, but try this one on for size, all right? You got a long day and you're on a crunch. Your friends hit you up and say, hey, man, we hitting out, but you don't have time to do your normal routine and hop in the shower and apply the proper fragrance. So, oh, no, because your daytime fragrance does not go along with your nighttime one. So, what you do is you take some of these, man. Some makeup removers will remove your fragrance fast. Your new secret weapon will be makeup wipes. Yes, man, makeup wipes. I know it sounds weird, but hear me out. Makeup wipes are specifically formulated to remove chemicals from the skin without being harsh on the skin, and they remove fragrances with ease. I've talked about this before, but I did not give you guys a secret, so now I am. I will link these below because these are my favorite makeup wipes. Now my fourth fragrance hack gets down to the bottom of you smelling good, which is you. Be sure you use an unscented body wash, lotions, and laundry detergents to get the most from your fragrances. Now, I personally use the Aveeno line here, man. This one is unscented. It works well, and it helps you keep your fragrances locked in. Your skin is hydrated and moisturized, and it doesn't have any additional smell. Neglecting to do this step will often cause your fragrances to compete with the body and skincare products that you are using, therefore causing your fragrance to diminish and getting you less compliments. I will link the products that I use down below so you can try them out, man, because, you know, I'll be getting these compliments. The next hack is one of my favorites because I believe it helps up your game a bit more. My fifth fragrance hack is center around keeping your rod smelling clean. And yes, it's simpler than you think, and I'm going to give you three ways to do that. The first thing you can do is try spraying the fragrance of your choice in inconspicuous locations in your car. Try under your floor mats, try under your car seat, and even spray inside your air vents to have your rod smelling clean. Another method is placing open fragrance decants in your car, allowing the aroma to spread, and again, keeping your ride smelling fresh. And finally, if you have a nice car, or if you just like your car and don't want a chance spraying your car, then you can use the clothespin method. 
Yes, man, you heard me correctly. The clothespin method. These are those old little wooden pins, man, that your grandma or great grandma used to use to hang up your clothes to dry them outside. I mean, I'm assuming that you've all experienced that. Saturating a wooden clothespin with your favorite fragrance will allow you to get that desired effect without chancing it. And the process is simple. Spray your favorite fragrance on a clothespin, clip the clothespin to the air vent, and when you crank that car up, it's go down. So those are the five best fragrance hacks on YouTube and probably some you have never heard before. I hope these things have helped you out. And if you want a part two, then you know what to do. Comment down below and let your boy know, man. Also, I have everything that I talked about linked and listed down below for you to check out so you can get your hacks on. As always, I'm your boy, Big B. B. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again. And if you know anybody who needs to freshen up a bit, send them this video and tell them to hit the goddamn.